Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into today's message. Okay, so what I'm getting for you guys is you were feeling like you weren't being recognized or you weren't being noticed or you were for a little while and then you feel like people forgot about you. But I'm seeing that you guys are needing to gain new knowledge or this is the new chapter, the ascension that you're stepping into. You guys are going to take a leap of faith because you're realizing that you were chasing something and that it was not, you weren't seeing any benefits from you chasing it. You're like, it's mine. I got this. And you're like, wait, where'd it go? Where did it go? And so you guys were realizing that this was like not really part of your identity, your real identity, or it was not supposed to be long term for you that there's a shift. Okay, so you guys are stepping into an amazing era of no regrets and feeling high class, feeling financial freedom because you are no longer chasing, you are attracting. It's like you guys went from like feeling like the magician to feeling like there was things slipping out of your grasp and then it put you in this like chaser mode. You're like, wait, 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 wait. I worked so hard for this. Where's it going? Where's it going? I need to chase it. I need to chase it. I need to chase it. And so you guys are becoming the student again. What I'm getting is whoever I'm speaking to, you are naturally a star. You are naturally an entertainer, but there's something that you're needing to learn or find out more about. And because you're going to do this, it's going to bring in like-minded people people that also want to learn more, that want to ascend, that have this thirst for new knowledge. You guys are meant to have a lot of charm. You're meant to have a lot of influence in the world. So this is what's going to help you get ahead, is you being charming and magnetic, not showing everyone a certain persona. And you're realizing that you needed to go through this transformation because it's not only going to shift your knowledge, it's going to shift your presence, it's going to shift your charm. And you guys are going to be doing a lot of like law of attraction, money spells, candle work, rituals. You're really getting tapped back into the rituals that you liked doing in the beginning. And you are also learning how to delegate things to other people or you're learning how to put less on your plate because you putting all of this whatever on your plate was really making you like tired or exhausted or feel like what you were doing wasn't enough. And this is how you're going to also increase your earnings. Maybe you felt like your earnings were doing really good, your money was doing really good, and then all of a sudden it's, it like got stale and you're like, what? <laughs> okay. So you guys are being shown how to be consistent, how to be persistent in your rituals, in your prayer, in your thoughts. And so there was like another level of knowledge that you guys needed to do this. So it's like you're going from pushing the ball uphill to like really getting the ball rolling and not feeling like you're chasing and and like in this desperate vibration and that is making you feel some type of way i feel like someone here is trying to build a social media business a spirituality business a social media platform or you're trying to teach there's something that you're trying to do and spirit or god is saying okay hold on like we need more knowledge and you're like oh, i want more knowledge but you're starting to see how it's going to benefit you so you're starting to get excited about it oh, i'm excited for you guys any type of spell or prayer you guys do right now is going to bring you a lot of prosperity. Anything that you do to delegate or take less off your plate, that is going to really work in your favor right now. It's going to help bring back your charm and you being magnetic. So you guys are going to be like picking up some books, getting ready to expand your knowledge. And so this is what you're listening to in your heart. You guys could be a Cancer or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but you don't have to be. But what I'm getting is it is really within you. You guys feel this so deeply 
that you guys want like-minded people. You want to feel at home with the business that you are creating or the legacy or the brand that you're building. You're really wanting to feel at home like it just comes natural to you. But spirit is saying or God is saying that you need more tools in your arsenal. You need more things as the magician. There's a couple things that we're missing to make it all like work together like a well-oiled machine. So you are going to tune into the infinite. You're tuning into God. You're tuning into your higher self. And you are going to awaken your psychic abilities. So this is going to help you really break free of feeling pressed, feeling like you have to chase this thing that you've been wanting to build. You're just realizing like you're chosen and what is for you will not miss you. It is okay to slow down so you can like learn things again. As you guys are learning, you're going to be realizing that you guys are a beacon of light. Like you guys got this. You are an inspiration to others. Comment down below. I am naturally an inspiration to others, even on my worst day. And as I'm saying that, I'm hearing a plane. So you guys are getting ready to soar. You're going to start trusting in God, trusting in the universe, trusting in your abilities. You are restoring faith in your abilities that you got this. I'm excited for you guys. Let's see what deck do I want to pull out this deck. Let's see what else is going on for you guys. I'm feeling like there are uh, certain mindsets being destroyed that immediately put you in this mindset of I'm not enough. This isn't working. I'm never going to have this, that, or the third. So you're learning how to slow down and contemplate and take a deep breath. There are certain toxic things in your environment that you're removing. Somebody needs to hear that. So like you are on the right path with that. There are certain things that maybe you felt like you needed in your home or certain things or people that you felt like you needed in your life and you were seeing that it was um, stifling you in some way or keeping you stuck. So you're like, hold on, I've got, I've got to remove this because it's not, it's not actually helping me. So because of this, you guys are going to be bringing in a new phase. You're learning to feel vulnerable again. Like, okay, I don't have it all figured out. I'm learning every day. It's okay. Um, you're tapping into your unlimited potential your rapid growth. You guys have a fresh start that's coming in because you are being humbled and you're like, okay, I thought I had a routine of knowing what I was doing and I'm just seeing that that constantly needs to evolve. I'm okay with it. I don't want to be in this needy, desperate, chasing, 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 pressed, stressed, stressed energy all the time. I love this for you guys. You guys could also be a Libra. Aries, Capricorn, powerless. You guys were feeling really hopeless. You were feeling like you were on the hook for this business or you were feeling like you were feeling uninspired. Like, I don't know what I'm doing with this anymore. Like I thought this was what I wanted and now I'm getting bored of it. It's because new knowledge needed to come in and you needed to become the student again. So... It's like you're realizing like it's okay to take classes. It's okay to like get some more books and expand. So you're going through expansion. You're going through rapid growth and you're getting excited about it as you should be. You guys could be seeing 444. You guys could be a life path number eight. You guys were starting to realize that you feeling like the diamond was slipping away. You didn't feel like the creative force anymore. And that's okay because we're not going to feel on top all the time. That's when we're ready to transform and evolve and just make it even better. So you're coming out of this pressure, this pressure cooker, because you are the diamond. And you guys are realizing that you are brilliant. 
you are pure of heart you have invincible spiritual power so comment down below i am a creative force duh i am restoring my faith and my abilities i am of the light i am committing to my cause i'm committing to my purpose i am an unconquerable force i have invincible spiritual power you guys could be seeing 1111 or 111. You guys could also be in Aries. And then we have more Scorpio energy where you guys are hitting the mother load. You're thinking like, oh, if I delegate, I'm not doing all of the work and then I'm not necessarily self-made. Oh, if I delegate or if I if I become a student, like I'm people are gonna be like, oh, you're taking classes. You're realizing that people that are really doing good in whatever industry you're wanting to be in or whatever arena you're wanting to be in you're realizing that they're always reading they're always learning they're always going through expansion they're always going through another level up so it's like you guys were getting comfortable but then you realize like i'm getting bored i don't like this anymore um maybe you guys had started a business and you realize like you weren't passionate about it and it's okay to um to drop something you don't like anymore or figure out if you really like it or you know people have failed businesses they don't always like not all of their businesses are winners like I know people that have started a candle making business they realize they weren't passionate about it I know people that have started a t-shirt printing business and they realize that they were not passionate about it I know a lot of people that have started businesses that realize through the process of thinking that it was something that they wanted 13 13 on the clock that it's not what they wanted and that is okay as long as you get back up and you continue to see like what is for you and what you do like because you guys are going to be put in the position where you are able to mentor others to be vulnerable and to try and to learn and to expand some of you guys are naturally a spiritual teacher some of you guys are going to be exploring in nature. Some of you guys are going to be writing more. You're starting to figure out that your abilities really unfold when you write things down. You are becoming extremely self-reliant and you're going through a lot of self-improvement. You're realizing that you don't have to put so much on your plate that you are allowed to ask for help. So you guys are coming out of this period of sadness. You're coming out of this period of misfortune. A feeling like you have to um, fix everything by yourself all the time. You're starting to realize like you don't have to do everything by yourself. You don't have to feel disappointed by saying something failed. So I love that for you guys. You are destroying certain beliefs. So I'm getting that you guys are going to be feeling... So somebody here is ask, asking, when am I going to be feeling like myself again? And I'm getting that that is within a few weeks. Okay. Some of you guys are asking, when am I going to start feeling like myself again? And I'm getting that that is within a few weeks. Especially if you've been seeing 888-818-808 or you are a life path 8. You guys are ready to explore this new perspective of how you get things done and how you ascend. So you feel like you're in this like unknown destination. Like, I don't know where I'm going, Brittany. And it's like, it's okay. It's okay. You want to know why it's okay? Because it's not the labyrinth of you know what. And if we are on the hamster wheel of you know what, or in the lab labyrinth of you know what, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. You guys are starting to realize how you're going to deal with spiritual attacks you're realizing how you're going to deal with jealousy and people that are not happy for you you're realizing how you're going to deal with this creative these creative slumps or these transits and what i'm getting for you guys too is you could have been feeling like i can't move or do certain things because of the astrological transits and though astrology is great we still have free will right? So what you're learning right now is you can still make moves even though you love astrology. 
you can still make moves even though you're aware of the astrological transits. Because if we never, not never did anything during these transits, we wouldn't be living, okay? So that's really important for you guys to know or understand because what I'm getting is you're going to be aware of certain things like, okay, I'm going to be looking at money and how I spend money during this time or I'm going to be looking at how I interact with people or if I'm really pushy or whatever. And you're just going to be aware of it. You're not going to make it like front and center. You're not going to make it like everything to where you're stressing yourself out. You're no longer going to let retrogrades stress you out dark nights of the soul because you're realizing that it's going to bring about this bigger transformation period so let's see if we got anything else for you guys just keep listening to your heart because when you listen to your heart you win big you're going to start trusting your heart big blessings coming in i'm telling you guys within a few weeks you're really going to be falling in love with being a student you're going to be falling in love with self-care something that maybe you don't really get excited about you're going to be seeing how it shifts your mood and what you're diving into and so within a few weeks you are going to be feeling a lot of financial freedom it's like changing so fast also i'm getting you guys are going to be more open to intensifying your intimacy. I feel like this is having to do with self-care and just really being honest with yourself, trusting yourself, trusting your discernment, trusting your psychic abilities. You're going to be aware of like who to share things with and who not to share things with. You are stepper, you're stepping, you are stepping into your empress behavior, your goat behavior. Yeah. Relationships, caring, community, go with the flow. Okay, so it's really important, you guys, that you're going with the flow. I'm hearing sirens. It is really important that you rest more and lighten your load. It is really important that you uncord certain relationships and start the power of forgiveness and healing because this is what's going to bring in this caring community. I'm seeing that you guys are bringing in your soul tribe. Comment down below, forgiveness is freedom. I am learning to go with the flow. I am learning to trust my abilities and I am attracting my soul tribe. You're going to feel like you're bringing people towards you that belong. And that could be because you're letting go of certain friend groups or certain family members and you're becoming a student. You could be meeting people at school or just in other public places. Bottom line is you guys are the spiritual warrior. You guys are the spiritual warrior. The lion moves for no one. You're going to start showing everyone that you're a wise leader by saying, you know, I don't know everything, but I'm figuring it out. And if you ask me something and I don't know the answer, I'm going to tell you. But I'm learning each and every day. You've got a lot of new knowledge coming in. So you're ready to leap with no regrets. I'm excited for you guys. Alrighty, so let me know what angel numbers you guys are seeing in the comments. Drop your favorite affirmation. If you guys are looking for anything in-depth, pick a card style. Link is in the description box. Don't forget to smash the you-know-what, hit the bell, duh. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.